Of course you understood, didn't you? It's time for another intergalactic adventure with Luna Jim. And Luna Jim spelt backwards is Rano Midge. <laughs> There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. Lunar Jim, let's get lunar! Lunar Jim, let's blast off! Rover and Ted are by Jim's side. There's adventure ahead and a lunarific ride. Bucket, please, Ted. Oh, my back's a bit stiff today, so I don't think I can lift it. Ted? Mm. <laughs> Ted? Oh, sorry. Uh, bring the bucket. <laughs> what are you reading, Ted? The latest Rocket Robot comic book. Did you know that Rocket Robot's favourite food is oil? Just like me. My favourite food is Luna Berry Pie. Moon melons are my favourite. Mmm. Rocket Robot's favourite thing to do is rescue people. I like exploring with Rover. I like fixing things. I like reading Rocket Robot comic books. I suppose no two people, or robots, are alike. Oh, my back muscles are sore. Urgent, urgent. All crew reports to mission control at once. We're on our way, Pixel. Come on, everyone. We're all here. What's so urgent, Pixel? A small UFO is heading towards Muna Luna. UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object Rover. It means we don't know what it is. If the UFO isn't stopped, it will crash into mission control. We'd better catch it, and fast. Come on, Rover. We've got a UFO to catch. Let's get Luna! <laughs> We need a vehicle that can carry the UFO back with us. So let's take the lifter. Come on, boy. Wait for me. I'm an expert UFO catcher, and my fishing net should be perfect to catch it with. Hop aboard, Ted, and hang on! Whoa! We should see the UFO by now. You can see the UFO? Where? There it is! Good job, boy! Whoa! Ready with your net, Ted? Ready! Got it! Hi, Ripple. We've got the UFO. Ted will bring it to you at the moon port. I've never seen a gizmo like this before. Look at all these buttons. Careful, Ted. We don't know if those buttons are safe to press. I am a UFO expert. I think I know what I'm doing. Strange. It's like some sort of camera. Come in, Ripple. I need some help with the lifter at the vehicle bay. I'll be right there, Jim. Ted, could you please take this gizmo to mission control while I help Jim? I'll see you there. Bye, then. I'll just get my comic book. Hmm. Ah. Ah. This is a good one. Yeah, Ripple? I thought you'd already left to help Jim. Help Jim? Help Jim? Help Jim? Your muscles must be sore. You're walking as stiffly as a robot. Thanks for helping me fix the lifter, Ripple. Fixing things is my favourite thing to do, remember? Ouch! Oh, my back really hurts today. You should try out my new shaky chair. It's great for relaxing sore muscles. Maybe later, right now, 
I have to look at that space gizmo you brought back. Hi, Jim. Is Ripple there? I need her help to fix the feeder. This is Ripple's busy day, Eco. She was here, but she left. Try mission control. Thanks, Jim. Oh, huh, Ripple, you're back. Help, Jim. I don't need any more help, but Eco does. He needs you to fix the feeder. Fix feeder. Help, Eco. Fix feeder. Help, Eco. Fix feeder. You're right, Rover. Ripple isn't herself today, is she? She's acting very strange. Come in, Mission Control. Ripple, are you there? Hi, Eco. What's up? I need help fixing the feeder. No problem. I can't come right now, though. I need to scan this gizmo that Jim brought back. OK, Ripple. See you later. Hmm. Hmm. Fix feeder. Ripple, I thought you were coming later. Help, Eco. Yes, please. The feeder is broken. The grain doesn't come out. And Daisy needs a grain. Need grain? Yes, she does. And lots of it. Lots of grain. The grain is supposed to collect up here in the holding bin before dropping down into this trough. But something's blocking it. You should hear it. It shakes, rattles and rolls like Jim's shaky chair. Jim's shaky chair. Jim's shaky chair. Jim's shaky chair. That's right. Anyway, do you think you can fix my feeder? Oh, well, curl my cabbage. How did that get there? Eco? Huh? Why are you building a wall with those bags of grain? Me? I thought you built it. Me? Why would I build it? I came because you said you needed some help. <laughs> yes, I do. Now I need some help moving these grain bags away. OK, then. Oh, my back is sore. I'm really going to need to use Jim's shaky chair after this. Ah, this is the life, hey, Rover? <laughs> shaky chair, shaky right chair. Right here, Ribble. Try it out. Shaky chair, shaky chair. It's perfect, but you'll have to wait because Ripple's using it. Huh? Shaky chair. Jumping Jupiter to oh. Ripples. What's going on? Well, I'll be an apple dumpling. Two Ripples, exactly the same. Which one of you is the real Ripple? It's me. It's me. Hmm. This ripple moves stiffly. The real ripple moved stiffly today. She had a sore back. Hmm. There must be a way to tell which one is the real ripple. Yes, because no two people or robots are alike. Right? Crashing comets. That's it. Remember when we talked about our favourite things? Only the real ripple knows what her favourite things are. What is your favourite thing to do? I like fixing things. What is your favourite thing to do? I like fixing things. She's copying me. She's copying me. The only way to know who's copying who is to ask you the next question first. What is your favourite food? Um, shaky chair. Huh? Lots of grain. Lots of grain? Uh, no. My favourite food is moon melons. Mmm. That's the ripple I know. You are the real ripple. The one and only. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only. <gasps> Whoa. Ah, jumping Jupiter. Where did she go? This gizmo isn't just a copying machine, it's an uncopying machine too. I'll put it somewhere safe for now. So far, it's only caused trouble. It didn't just cause trouble, it caused double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
It's all about Andy. Let's hear it for Andy, everyone. Andy is an amazing six foot four inches tall, even when he's upside down. But which CBB's character is he pretending to be? Here's another clue. Yes, it's our very own superhero, Sporticus, from Lazy Town. And that was all about Andy. Let's hear it for Andy, everyone.